Hey guys, Matt Boyd for ADB Magazine here. Uh, this is our how-to tech of the month. We're gonna show you how to replace the exhaust O-rings that seal the expansion chamber to the exhaust port and the cylinder. So these are the tools you're gonna to need to do the job. You got an eight mil for removing the bolts out of the expansion chamber. Spring puller for getting the springs off. We got our, our new uh, O-rings, some grease, because we're gonna grease these O-rings. And a screwdriver for digging out the old, uh, old burnt, broken O-rings. All right, so we're gonna start off by removing these bolts. Now we've got them bolts out, we're gonna remove these springs from the exhaust. So take our spring puller, we pop them springs off, just like that. Sit them out of the way, and just jiggle it while we move it forward. Until the pipe comes loose, then we can bring it out of the way, bring it to the bench. And you can see these old O-rings in here, they're burnt. This bottom one's broken, part of it's missing. They were leaking. Uh, so we're gonna dig them out. There's something sharp, like a razor blade, sharp screwdriver. And get in there behind them, pop them out. You can see there, had it. That one's actually got a big chunk missing out of it. But before we put the new ones back in, we've got to clean this up too. So we get our screwdriver and we just run around in there, make sure the grooves are free. If there's any carbon or any bits of dirt or something blocking them grooves, the O-rings won't sit all the way in the bottom of the groove and you won't get the pipe on. So these are our new O-rings. We're going to take these. It's a little bit of grease all over. This helps them slide into place. So once we've got them nice and greased up, we're just gonna slide them into the groove in the pipe in here. Just make sure you take your time, get them all the way down in the groove. So that's the top one done. Run your finger around, get them all the way in, and then just take one look find a little bit of grease and grease them up so they slide into place on the cylinder. So here's another free trick for you before we put this pipe back on. We actually spray, spray a little bit of silicon spray on the end of the pipe here. That section slips into a rubber grommet and if you don't put any lube on it, they're quite hard to push in. It just makes fitting the pipe a lot more difficult than it should be. So we line this end up This part does require a little bit of patience sometimes. And then we're just gonna fit these bolts loosely. Go for it down the so we just get these bolts in nice and like loose for now, just finger tight, we don't tighten them right up. Move the pipe around and try and push it on as far as we can. And then we come around the front to put the exhaust springs on. So we grab these springs with our spring puller, we just pop them back on the pipe like that. Give that a good wiggle and a push and those springs will pull that pipe into place. So now we've got this pipe sitting in place. Now we go around and we tighten all these mounting bolts. Just one at a time. All right, so that's how you change the O-rings in your expansion chamber. It's a pretty simple job, but just remember not to over tighten your mounting screws. These are only a six mil thread, so they will snap if you go swinging off them. Um, make sure you grease the 
O-rings, uh, trying to push them in dry will just split them or, uh, or you won't get the exhaust on at all. Be gentle, don't go bashing the expansive chamber into place with a rubber mallet, you will dent them. And when you finish off, just make sure that you've got a gap around the back of the motor and any coolant hoses. You don't want this pipe rubbing up against any plastic or rubber coolant hoses because it will melt them. And that's our how-to tech for this month.